You see that right there? Let's talk about it. Intro. So you want to make that old DSM look new again, right? Make the DSM great again. So many people want to do different towel light mods. Now we've all seen some towel light mods that look good and some that don't look so good. Here's some background information on the Tarantula mod, which I think looks pretty awesome on the 2G Talon. The first thing you gotta do and the hardest thing you gotta do is take it apart carefully without cracking it. Once you get it apart, you gotta paint the whole inside of it black, completely black. After you put a heavy coat of paint on the inside of the plastic piece facing the back of the car, then you gotta take something sharp and go along the edge of the Talon letters. You can see where the yellow is shining through. That is where I use the sharp edge. I use just like a pick. Some people use like a steak knife, but I think a pick worked best. My advice would be to pick it after the heavy coat of paint, and then I would paint it again and then re-pick it again. You want the letters to shine real bright, so the more work and time you put into it, the better the results will be. Ask me how I know. I installed the center tail light thinking it would look beautiful but it needed more LEDs eventually, and I never liked the way the corner of the end looked, so I had to redo it again, so take your time. What's up guys, people always ask me about the LED tail lights. Um, I had a guy, Patrick Schneider, I may be jacking up his name, but he was making them for a while, he's on Facebook. Um, so he took it apart originally to make the town tail light light up, and it wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be, like in the corner of the end. Um, so I ended up opening it up. I added another, uh, some more LEDs. Um, that was a while ago. Um, so it's off the car now because I want to seal it a little tighter. You can see the edge here is shut pretty good. Okay, right here is not as good as a little bit of a gap, but I. Uh, I want the seal tighter, so that's why it's off the car. What I did was I took some clamps, I clamped them on here, and I put a, a, some glue in there. Any glue will work, um, but I did some glue in there. It didn't seal perfect. There's still a little bit, it's hard to see, a little bit of gap in there. Um, use black sealer, that'll work better. I unfortunately, the glue that I used was, uh, it dried white. So I did put a little bit of uh, paint in there just to kind of paint over the glue. Uh, a little trick, but be smarter than me and use black glue. Um, so I don't have a picture of the process of the LEDs. This was a while ago. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, and I still use, there's the OEM plug. And you can see it's uh, got a bunch of glue on it. Patrick actually did that. Um, so did I just plug it in here and here's where he drilled a hole through it with the LED coming out. Um, and you can see the little glue driplets. That's because we had to split this apart and then we re-glue it. The hardest part of this whole process is just splitting this apart without cracking it. I have another one as a backup in case I cracked it when I was messing with it the first time. Uh, this time wasn't a big deal because I wasn't opening it. I was just resealing it. All right, I'm going to put it back in the car. Peace. So I'm gonna put that bad boy up in there. For those who have a 2G Eclipse and you wanna do a talent conversion, that's where the piece of metal bracket has to come off and it gets lowered there, okay? Same thing, you can see where the bracket was there and it gets lowered and there's evidence that my car's wrapped. You can see the wrap, but it's close to that red OEM paint as you see. All right, so we're gonna put that back on. And for it to go on, it's only a few 10 millimeter bolts. You can see I have two there. I have a couple there. Um, that's not much of an exciting process. So I don't need to show you it. All right. Here's a couple old photos when the letter N was not good enough to my liking. You can see it's a little faded. This is after I fixed it.
please like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button. And check out the Arch Four Speed Facebook page that I run too. Peace. Thanks for watching guys.